All right, guys, welcome back to Just The Drill. So this Saturday, we talked about all the elements that you need to create spin in your golf swing. You want to be able to get the ball to land on the green, stop, maybe spin back a little bit, and be able to control your trajectory. So I'm here and I'm joined by Max Cooper, and we're gonna show you some of these great drills. Now, we talked about how we need to get a descending angle of attack if we want to control spin loft and control trajectory getting the distance and the spin that we're looking for. So one of my favorite drills is just a towel drill. So Max is gonna set up here. We have a towel set up just behind the golf ball. Now, Max is gonna hover the club up a little bit in the air. This is gonna really force him to get down. So he's gonna make a backswing and concentrate on making sure he clears that towel to come back and make contact. Now, you can start out by doing these swings slow. So go ahead and hit a slow one for me. You can start out slow and increase speed as you work. If you can miss the towel and it's set up about two inches behind the golf ball, that's gonna force you to have a more downward angle of attack getting spin. Once you start out hitting the slow shots, generally go in there and start increasing the speed. So we can increase speed, which Max is about to do here. So go ahead and take a full swing. He's still hovering that club to start, working down on everything and missing it. Now, that's going to be putting us in a position where the ball will launch lower with more spin every time. That's how you start controlling the spin loft that we're looking at. Now, if we're trying to control our angle of attack and hit more down on the golf ball and get the spin loft more down, we need to feel the hands are ahead through the strike. So this is a great drill. You put an alignment stick through the grip. Now, we're gonna put that alignment stick through the front side. The goal is to rotate the body around through impact and avoid hitting yourself in the side. So go ahead and set up here. You're gonna just start out by hitting little bunts, okay? We're not going to make big full swings in the beginning. Once you can learn how to control that slow trajectory move and really build the feel for getting your hands ahead, you're now in position to get that compression and that low launch every time. You'll notice that when tour players are hitting that shot, the ball's not going super high. It's going to come out with a nice control trajectory. It's going to have distance because all the speed elements are there and it's going to have spin because we are creating a lot of friction and by hitting down, we're increasing the spin loft in order to get that check. So one of the main things we talked about was controlling the launch, okay? Now I have a great little gate drill here that we are going to work on to control start line plus launch angle. So you just set two alignment sticks at an angle, and the goal here is to get the golf ball underneath them every single time. So this is a low launch situation. I put that about four and a half feet in front. We are going to try and get the golf ball to go right in between those sticks when we strike this golf ball. That's a great shot, there you go. Now Max is able to do that. He had a nice trajectory. If you are the scoopy golfer, okay, a, we talked about how adding that loft is going to make it difficult to get the friction and the speed that you're looking for in order to spin it. But B, it's gonna make it impossible to keep it underneath those sticks when you're swinging at the golf ball. So set up a gate, force yourself to learn how to flight it down. If you're getting your body rotating and you're doing all those drills, you're getting the wrist more flexed down, controlling the face, de-lofting, you're gonna be able to hit that nice, low, smooth shot right underneath the sticks every single time. All right guys, so if you are looking to control your spin and your launch angle, this video will give you some great drills in order to do it. Remember, you need to be able to control your angle of attack, control your club face. You want your path in a good position coming down. Okay, that's gonna help you control and create more spin loft, create more friction, and it's going to allow you not to stall out and create more speed through the strike. When you combine all those elements, you start creating the spin that you need on the golf course. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again next week. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.